Radio X. Serving the international expat community. Loving the city. Loving you. This is Radio X. Continuing the fight against unemployment in Brussels and beyond JCI, the heart of Europe are gearing up for a huge weekend as the International Leadership Summit kicks off on Thursday, the 28th of November, at several locations across the city. Joining me on X for Breakfast, our friend Camille of JCI, the heart of Europe, on his progress in the fight against unemployment. Camille, very good morning to you. How are you? Good morning, Chris. Thanks for having me. It's good to be back on Radio X. No problem, you're always welcome here. Now, for, uh, for uh, unfamiliar listeners, Camille, introduce, uh, introduce them to yourself and uh, your role at JCI. Sure, my name is Kamil Mraz. I'm the project manager and the initiator of the Your Future in Brussels project. This project started last year in 2012. It was really a, a simple idea that came about because of the, the social economic situation in which Europe finds itself. You know, we, we touched on this in our last interview, but 5.5 million young people are unemployed in Europe. 5.5 million people. I have to repeat that because that's huge. You know, some people see that as a statistic, but us, we don't see it as such. We see it as friends, neighbors, young people, colleagues, you know, who are currently unemployed, who are looking for a job, who, 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 who need a, a helping hand. And our organization, JCI TO, uh, you know, is one that at its core mission statement, uh, aims to empower young people to create positive change. So when we saw that situation in, uh, all across Europe, here in Brussels, uh, we couldn't just stand around and do nothing about it. You know, we decided to, to take action because that's what JCI is all about, taking action, creating community projects, and just he helping society to, and creating uh, positive change within our scope of influence. So um, we, we did this project last year. It was quite successful. We have about 150 uh, young people come about, um, you know, and what we did with this project is we uh, reached into our professional network. We uh, invited, you know, friends of ours who are HR managers, senior uh, leaders, and put them together uh, in, in, in a sort of workshop environment uh, to get, let them have feedback, practical advice, inspiration in these difficult uh, social economic times. And, uh, you know, I think we, we, we've made some impact and uh, this, this project is now on its third edition. So the third edition, like you mentioned, is taking place uh, this weekend. This time it's going to be a lot bigger than the, the last two uh, editions because we're aiming for, you know, 300 if not more participants. And we're going to help those guys out with CV assessment, with workshops on how to tailor your CV, how to make it better. And also, uh, you know, inspirational panels from people who can uh, give them some, some hope in these difficult times and people who've overcome you know, certain difficult times in their uh, careers and, and can relate and share that with the current unemployed youth. Uh, so that's really the, the, the project in a nutshell. You know, it's um, uh, it's still it's yeah. still an amazing uh, statistic. We've spoken a few times on the show, Camille. As you know, this will be our uh, third interview now, I think, and it, the the number still shocks me: five point five million people. Um, it only just uh, goes to emphasise how important events like uh, like the leadership summit this weekend are. Now, uh, this weekend's event now it takes place in several different locations. I understand. Exactly. So. Uh in addition to what I just described, you know, the, the local grassroots Your Future in Brussels project, uh, this year around we also organized it together with a leadership summit. So this leadership summit is, uh, I would say, the, the, the strategic program to roll out what we've been doing on the grassroots all across Europe. So for this leadership summit, we have young leaders, activists, people coming from non-for-profit organizations who have uh, a calling and, and really feel closely with the, the problem of youth unemployment and want to take action at their local level. And so we've invited them to come to Brussels to see what we're doing actually in real time to train them on, you know, project management as it applies to tackling youth unemployment, you know, about leadership, about organizational development. So these guys, these European young leaders could go back to where they're from, to Spain, to Greece, to Poland, to Italy, to the Netherlands, and apply those same tools, apply that same concept that we've been doing here in Brussels since 2012, and do it back home. And that's really what we'd like to do, because we believe that what we've been doing for the last year, this project, this Your Future in, project, uh, this Your Future in Brussels project, is not something that we want to hold on to and, and have like exclusivity to. Mm. We believe deeply that it should be shared, because it's been really successful helping young people in these difficult times.
times, and it's super simple to, to implement back home. So these guys, these leaders, will be taking this concept back home. Uh, the leadership summit will be taking place at the European Parliament, at the HUB in Brussels, uh, at the, the ICAB in Brussels, and also at BESI. So four different locations, very high-level locations, and we're going to be treating these young leaders to, you know, some some tough training, I would say. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they get trained in, in, in all these different uh, fields, but they're young, motivated people that we believe in, and we believe will take this concept back home and really make more impact and help this problem of youth unemployment, not only in Brussels, as we've been doing, but now internationally. And in fact, those young leaders, when they go home, and do the project back home. In fact, we kick off a campaign together with them, and we're already starting virtual conversations, you know, helping to support them in, in, in their local project. And uh, we're going to organize together with them a coordinated effort in May, on the week of May 9th, European Union Day, uh, of, of your future week. So your future in Copenhagen, your future in Rome, your future in Warsaw, all taking place in the same week, the your future week. Pretty cool, eh? That's fantastic, Camille, and it's it's so good to hear this uh, hit this now in November. We've been uh, following your progress very closely here on Radio X, um, well, for as long as I've been a part of Radio X at least, and uh, it's just so good to see that uh, this is becoming the uh, the uh, the international uh, initiative that it's it's always deserved to be really. Now, um, if I'm uh, a job seeker uh, here in Brussels over the course of the weekend, um, I want to get involved. I want to help shape my future in Brussels. Uh, where do I go and how how do I sign up, and is it open and free to anybody? Yeah, for sure. Uh, the 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 program to help young people in Brussels is uh, still open for registration. So that's the Your Future in Brussels uh, event, and you can go to our website at www.our-future.eu, and there, uh, if you're a young guy looking for a job, you can register. And uh, the cost of the event is five uh, euros. It's very symbolic as a volunteer organization. We, we put a very low price just to be able to break even with all the expenditures that we need to make. Yeah. Uh, and coffee is included. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity to have your CV assessed, to be inspired, to do workshops on your CV, to break this youth unemployment cycle. Yeah. And then in the night on that very day, so November 30th on Saturday, we also have a party. You know, a party against youth unemployment. So after you've done, uh, you, the young person has finished the CV assessment, you know, this tough day of work and, 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 and professional development, they can come and celebrate with us at La Tentacion. So that's in the evening. Well, I think there'll be yeah. every reason to celebrate, Camille. It's an amazing achievement that this event is even happening at the weekend. And uh, anyone who uh, goes along and helps to uh, shape their future here in Brussels and indeed here in Europe as well and break that cycle, as you say, of, uh, of youth unemployment uh, is uh, deserving, of, uh, deserving of a party at the end of the day, if you ask me. That is our-future.eu for all information. Camille, thank you as always. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and uh, congratulations on the amazing work that you're doing this year and uh, long may it continue sir thank you very much chris it's a pleasure to be here and we're, we're really glad to have you guys and radio x supporting us every step of the way thank you very much you're always welcome have a good day camille thank you you too bye bye Brilliant. Camille Mraz, that guy is an inspiration. It is as simple as that. Wonderful stuff. That website again, our-future.eu. This is Radio X.